other than that, I'm off for a walk because I, that's not many steps. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to Dumb Phones UK. My name's Joseph. I look at dumb or dumber phones on the UK market and we're looking at the CAT S22 Flip. And today we're seeing whether it can connect to my Garmin watch. Now, I know a lot of people, don't know why I did that, no idea. A lot of people have asked whether it's possible to connect to a Garmin watch with the CAT. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's slightly more complicated than you might think. So I've made a long odd video that walks you through how to do it. I could try and put a hook in this video and say, can I do it? Well, the video is quite long. So imagine if I dragged it all the way out and then didn't do it for you. Here we go, let's dig in, enjoy. I was initially told that to be able to get Garmin Connect to work, I would have to download F-Droid. So I hopped onto the F-Droid site and I've shortened all of these steps. I downloaded it and then within F-Droid, I downloaded the Aurora store. Again, these are the two things I was told that I'd need. Within here, scroll down, click search, search for Aurora and downloaded the Aurora store. What I then did when the Aurora store was downloaded is I logged in anonymously and I searched for the Garmin Connect app. And as you'll see, what happens was when I click the install button, it took me to install it. And then when I click the install button again, it didn't work. So what I did was I had to type in the manual download. And then from the manual download, because the install wasn't working, it was giving me an error as well. So when I tried to download the 9,447th version, I believe, uh, it, it wasn't suitable. So what we then did was I went through APK Mirror. I will drop this link below in the video and I headed directly to this APK version of the Garmin Connect app. I downloaded it and again, I got the file maybe harmful, but in reality, I trust that it's gonna be all right. I did see initially that it came up with installing a staging app and then gradually it got through to installing the Garmin Connect app and then the app installed. That all took a bit of time. I've shortened the sequence for this part just to show you what that looks like. And then once the app had loaded, I was able to open the app, sort of log in, do the T's and C's and connect everything as you will. I just made sure that everything was set up and all permissions were turned on for this app. And as you can see here, I go through and there was supposed to be a page there that I was able to see. I couldn't see what it said, but I was happy to click got it. And then I hopped into the more section and down to devices or system devices, I believe. And then I looked through and my device wasn't connected. I'd never done this before. So I then clicked add device and I searched through the entire list. I've kept this in as real time as possible for you so that you're able to see what I had to do. So I did have to hop into permissions to turn on the location settings to allow it to be on for the entire time. This then seemed to allow it to work. And as I mentioned, I've just left this in almost real time so that you can see that it did take a bit of time for things to get set up and then I scrolled down. I just wanted to showcase a list of all the devices on there. Uh, you can go into more devices and search through even more. I'm looking at the Phoenix S, 6S I believe. So that's what I did. I found my device, scrolled through the list just to show you a few more that are available and then click the device that I thought suited mine. I then waited for a little bit of time uh, where it said it was trying to connect my device and I figured that maybe I might need to do something with my watch to get this working because at present nothing was happening. And I thought maybe, I thought maybe we'd reached the sort of point at which we were going to be able to get as far as we could with this. However, I then thought, right, let's hop onto my watch and find the relevant section in there and see whether I need to turn anything on. So I hopped into my settings within my Garmin watch and then all the way down, I popped in to pair phone right at the bottom. And then once I'd clicked pair phone, I started to see some success or at least noises of success and things like that. And it, it started to see my device and now I'm able to connect it. 
then ask me whether I want to connect the device and yes I do and then I have a code to pair so I've included this part of the video because you'll see that even though I type in the code and I type it incorrectly uh, it actually fails to connect the first time so again I figured that this might be as far as we could go with this but all I did once it said that it had failed is I just retried it and I put in the new passcode that it gave me and as you can see I'm just typing in here so once I typed that in I clicked OK and I waited for roughly about a minute potentially just a bit under a minute and it connected and worked as expected you could see on the watch face there that that is now showing that it's connected which is great news and then on the screen of the cat s22 flip itself you also see the progress bar has now loaded and we are now in a position where that phone has connected I then skipped the sync because I just wanted to sort of get through it and show you that you are able to connect. So as you can see, I could go through and I could set up everything within the cat. There wasn't anything that I wasn't able to, to click, similar to my smartphone. And you can see that it is starting to update and you can see my heart rate. You can also see the body battery, the steps that I've done and things like that. So I just wanted to show that it is working again because this is early on in the day or midday, close to midday. And I hadn't done that many steps. One thing I wanted to do was when I was out and about later in the day, I wanted to show you that uh, I'd just been running it through the day. Uh, this is the first time I've connected back up to the Garmin app on my phone. So I'm having a little look for the Garmin app here. Once I open it, you will see that I've done more steps than I've done previously, which is great news. My heart rate has changed. So you can see that this is working as it should. So there we go. There's the heart rate. There's my resting heart rate. And then my stress levels. I had just done a gig, to be fair. And then there's the steps that I've done as well. So it's all working as we'd expect, which is great. There we have it. You can connect your Garmin smartwatch to your Cat S22 Flip. It does take a bit more effort. It takes a little bit more clicking around than just going into the Play Store because when we tried that, it didn't work. Look, it's Friday the 28th. I've just woken up. I've not done many steps. I'm going to say that before I show you this, but just to show you that it still works. You can see that I've done 281 steps. And if we look at my watch, you can see that I've also done 281 steps. That will have gone up by the end of the day, but it's still working. Everything is working between the phone and the watch. So hope that was useful. If you liked it, please do like, please do subscribe. It really helps me, it helps you, it helps the channel. Other than that, I'm off for a walk because I, that's not many steps. Bye-bye.